Painters are great, but hiring somebody to manage, like to oversee some of the projects. So I'm not spending so much time at, at the job making sure every little thing's going right. But I can have more of someone that can be a project manager, basically. It's a hard, it's hard to give up those responsibilities. But I know as I have done in the past, it does help. Back, I had spent some time but during COVID. It's just crazy. I spent three months out of the country and I end up having a, a helper who made it so much easier and I just so much less stress. When I came back from that trip, I started to get these things to come back and it was hard for me to let go. I don't want to micromanage anybody. And I think it goes both ways for the guys as well, because it can happen. But just, I don't know, finding a way to let go of those responsibilities and empower people to, painters are fine. It just have like a good assistant would be a nice to, and it's going forward in the future. And that would be the, one of the biggest things I want to work on. Okay. So let me jump into here. I would encourage you one to make sure to focus on culture. So I, if you hire for character, yeah. focus on culture, your crews will take care of the customer. You yeah. won't need a project manager to manage them. In fact, when guys do hire them, that's an indicator that they haven't hired for character and they don't have a strong culture. And I'm not calling you out here. I just want to show you the opportunity because a project manager is going to cost you fifty to $80,000 out of your profit, right? And it's not really necessary as long as we have the right tech stack to set the teams up to win, okay? And then reliable crew leads at least to grab that and to give the customer a great experience and to lead the crew in what needs to be done. So as long as we hire for character and we take care of culture, we have the right tech stack in place, we don't really need a project manager anymore. Not these days, if that makes sense. Sure. I guess it's a, it's a hybrid of sorts of what I'm actually looking for. That mm -hmm. does make sense. I do trust the teams when they're out there. But if I, nowadays I go out to my projects maybe twice a week, which I don't know if I feel that's pretty mm -hmm. good overall. Mm -hmm. But I think just having a face out in the public and with my clients is also important because they hire me for, for me a lot of times. Mm -hmm. uh, but my guys, they do provide a lot of that, but it's like a project manager type kind of slash salesperson as well. Someone that can take over a little bit of our responsibilities because, yeah, that's so, okay. Yeah. At the 1.2 to 1.5 mark, definitely 1.2 and then 1.5 of the latest, you bring on an additional uh, salesman mm -hmm. slash project manager, and he manages the projects that he sells as well. But at this point, I think it's premature to bring somebody on. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or then there's some time management opportunities for you to streamline, if you feel like they, the customer, they hired you because they liked you, it's true. And then what you do is you work on transferring that trust to your crew lead. And I remember you'll know when you've done that well, when you pop by a job and they say, what are you doing here? Joe's mm -hmm. got it. So you've transferred that trust to the crew lead and they trust the crew lead. So I'm sure. trying to save you from coming profit because it's not, it might feel necessary, but it's not really necessary right now. There are other opportunities to optimize and I want you to keep as much profit as you need as you lean into growth. Sure. I never seen that sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Similar to the technology stuff, we use a new system. It's called Marcate. It's a CRM. I'm actually, my cousin had introduced it to me, who I introduced to painting about two years ago and he's taking off and he's, he's loving it. But anyways, I was using another program before, and this one is a little bit more extensive and it's similar, just getting people to jump on with the idea. But I did, I was able to add some uh, talking with the guys about, about what I expect and what's going to happen in the future if we start to use these things, but it's still hard to get them to jump on board with tracking and, and it, it will happen over time, but I guess it's, the, it feels the longer I go, the the less I'm going to have them streamline it, it's going to be a constant uh, struggle for them and for me. And um, so I, I guess I need to find a way to reset that and help improve that culture as far as they're making sure that they're doing these things on time and sticking with it. Yeah, implement the progressive disciplinary process. It's in the employee manual in the cafe that I have for you. It's very important to follow it because culture, you get what you tolerate. And so by following the disciplinary process, the, your team will trust it. They'll trust the rules and the policies and they'll obey them. And usually when you get to the written warning, they do it about face and they realize it's serious and it never happens again. Okay. 